All right, we was off camera. You were talking about. Uh, I asked you about doing Joe Rogan. You said you were the one of the first Joe Rogan interviews. How mm-hmm. many times have you done the Joe Rogan show? Twice. You say you were like number eighty or something. Yeah, I, something like that. I was right in that number. I might have been a, a, a little earlier than that, maybe even. So I go on Joe Rogan's show, right, and uh, I'm fucked up at the time. You know what I'm saying? They just took mom's house. You see my documentary when they put us out. Up, up yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah, seen so, it a long time. So they just, yeah. they just put us out the house and. Um, I go do the Joe Rogan show, but you know, I, I'm wearing it with, with, you know, like, fuck it. I, I, when I left prison, I was already like, shit, whatever I got to do. If I'm homeless, sleeping in the car, I don't care. I'm a win. You know, like, I'm just a month billionaire sleeping in the car. So mm-hmm. when I go to the Joe Rogan show, I was like, man, Joe, I'm fucked up. And he was like, man, you need a t-shirt. And I almost put my head on the table like, oh, mother, a t-shirt, man, give me some money. Yeah. I need a, I need a, I need a boost. So. I leave the show, man. I'm walking downtown, and uh, this young white kid come up to me, and he's like, hey, Rick, I heard you on the Joe Rogan show. He all geeked and shit like that. And I'm like, oh, man. He's like, man, I got an idea for a T-shirt. And I was like, oh, another one of them motherfuckers, right? And uh, he said, the real Rick Ross is not a rapper. And I say to myself, that's the corniest shit in the world. But I always, one thing I notice about me is I keep an open mind. Mm-hmm. You know, even though I might feel like a certain way, I mm-hmm. ain't gonna like just say like my way is the only way. So I said, uh, all right, let's do it. The dude say, I'll print the t-shirt, I'll design and everything. I don't know who this kid either, right? So he designed the t-shirt. I come to his shop. We take some pictures with me wearing the shirt. Mm-hmm. He give me a hundred shirts. I leave out and I sell all those shirts that same day. Wow. So at this time, I got Joe's direct number. I can call Joe whenever I get ready. Yeah. So I called Joe. I was like, hey, man, you know, you told me to do that T-shirt. Well, I did it. I got a T-shirt. He's like, all right, I'm going to set you up to come back on the show. So the next week, I go back on the show. And I take Joe on the T-shirts. Because uh, I, I was doing them with really nice material, you know, the new yeah. T-shirts. So I gave Joe the shirt. Joe put the shirt on on camera. And next week, man, my PayPal hit like $18,000, like, Bing, bing, bing. We, that thing just kept going. Bing, 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 bing. We thought it was broke. <laughs> $18,000 was in my PayPal, man. We went and got us an apartment, and uh, I ain't looked back since. So that that moment kind of helped at that time. Was was You needed that money. I mean, that oh, was. Oh, no, we was fucked up. Man, I had two babies. I had two brand new babies. Damn. Me, my girl, because I wanted to have a son as soon as I got home because I knew my time was running. You know, wow. I'm, I'm an old man now. And, right. So as soon as you got home, you got to work. Well, I, I never, I've never raised a kid. Right. And, and I've always wanted to, you know, like, I mean, you know, you could say I raised my younger brothers, but I slipped on them because I would let them, you know, go and do their own thing. But with my babies, they don't get to do nothing. It's like, of course. you know, straight. So, so Joe Rogan wearing that T-shirt kind of. Oh my goodness! Lot, I, I can't even say how many shirts that thing sold because I risk gonna be on my ass. <laughs> <laughs> when it, you it did so well, that T-shirt did so well that, that right now it's like five or six websites that's bootlegging that T-shirt. That's so crazy. I feel like I've seen it like at the swap meet for sure. The real Rick Ross is not a rapper. Yeah, you, you know I, I still wear it. <laughs> oh, it's there. There it is, right there. I still wear that joint. Go to the website and buy one right now. Do you, when you, when you, I, someone who's known Joe Rogan as long as you have, and you see the controversy with, uh, you know, what's going on with him, you know, what are your thoughts on that? Whole situation? I don't think Joe's a racist. You know, I mean, a lot of people said. I mean, I used to use the N word. Hmm? I used to use the N word, but you know, it's okay for it's us. It's a little to use different it. when you use it. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, it, it, it's it's I don't know. But I don't I don't feel like Joe Rogan is, is is racist, you know. I think he's getting a bad uh, rap for 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 using the word, and and he apologized, and he's I don't believe he'll ever use it again. Would you go back on his show? Yeah, I do Joe tomorrow. I'm, I'll be I sell a million books. But say so you'll sell a lot more books, a lot more T-shirts now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I go on Joe's show right now, my book probably wind up being the best. I mean, my book already, you know, I, I didn't really need I don't really need nobody to do what I do right. for real. Um, my book has done some numbers, mm-hmm. you know, just uh, the way I sell it. They just don't uh, calculate. Of course. Uh, I've also Amazon. Let me say that there. You know and saying I ain't gonna let Amazon sell more of my books than I sold. I respect that. 